Yeah, Gide Mulder for Screen Slam. Listen, congratulations on the film. I think it's a great trip to the history of, uh, of civil rights in America. And I think you both did a great job. Uh, tell us a little about your characters and uh, what did you like about them? Besides being an important, you know, they, they reflect an important movement in the, in the history of this country. Yeah, for sure. Or in my question uh, to serious. No, oh, no. no. It's a great question. for a lot of serious ones today. <laughs> okay. um, all right, Lex, I went first. You want to go first last, this time? You're the main character. You should go first. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> well, thank you. But um, all right. So what we, uh, now I've already forgot the question. What was it like playing? What was it like playing Bob? Um, and, and it's, yeah. And it also because you symbolize uh, an important historical moment in the history of uh, civil rights. Right. I you. think. Um, I think what, and this is a pretty, I don't know, maybe I'm speaking out of turn here, but I think it's a unique story in that it's not, you don't see it that often from the white guy's perspective, but in, I think even Spike was quoted at one point saying the reason that he liked this story was because it, a, it wasn't a white hero story. You know, it wasn't like, uh, what's that movie, that famous one, uh, Sandra Bullock, like, take somebody in. This is this guy mm. who comes in, watches this, uh, all happen to him. It changes him. Um, and he's not doing something. I mean, there's a there's a joke at the end that it actually nods to it, but I won't ruin it. I don't know. I don't know how what I'm what I'm what I can say. But yeah, it was really important to me to do this. I uh, didn't want to do anything on my hiatus, and then my reps were like, "You really need to read this," and I did, and I was like, "Never mind." So this it was it was important to me from the moment I read it. Um, I wanted to do it from about page ten, probably. But so yeah, it was and it was fun and and um, and. It was challenging at first, but once we started shooting, I it wasn't actually because Barry Barry's great, and then um, just the story tells itself. I think so. In Lex, I played Joanne. Joanne. Yes, yeah. his um, a, a member of SNCC, but also someone who built um, affinity for Bob Zoner and throughout their journey. And I, I basically play an amalgam of women um, who were massive figures during this point of history. Um, so it was an honor to bring some truth to their their lives and what they did and the impact that they had, but also to um, lend a guiding hand to Bob um, and accept that he wanted to be a part of this. And if so, then here's what you must learn. Here's what you must see. And um, it was, a quite a unique relationship, but it was a beautiful one that had no color to it. And, and it, it just had um, one young woman teach another young man about something that was bigger than both of them. So that was, um, is, is an honor to be that and do that service. Or do you think uh, these two characters are in love or they're uh, in love with the idea of being in love? <laughs> Which that's is coming. That's a good question. In but it. you know what? It happens to me sometimes. Sometimes I love the idea of being in Tell love. Tell me about that. Right? Yeah, I know, right? He, I think I remember something about it. I feel like you've interviewed me before. I'm, and and I, yeah. I, I, can't, yeah. I can't remember exactly what it was. It was a similar conversation though. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think, well, in truth, I believe that Bob, um, uh, cause yeah, uh, ended up, he is, he married someone else later on, but uh, yeah, it was, um, and she wrong was an amount of two Wrong choice, wrong choice. <laughs> Key. Oh, no. uh, yeah, it's true. No, I'm no, kidding. Yeah, right. I'm kidding. Yeah, he made the wrong. He made the wrong choice. No, yeah, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, but uh, I guess that's I guess that's my answer for that. I think I think so. Yeah, it, I would like to know if uh, I mean uh, you were not even born in the in the '60s, and was it <laughs> easy for you to understand the complexity of the period and also the emotional journey of these two people? Because they're not only individuals, they're individuals in a surrounder that is very difficult. And they're facing yeah. a lot of social changes and, and you have to choose as one of the characters say, you cannot yeah. be silenced. 
Yeah, I, yeah. I, I mean, I just remember uh, tell. I think I told Barry, like, or maybe I didn't, but I was, I was really nervous about a lot of things going into this. But I will say, he, he guided me pretty well. So, um, I, I just kind of at, after the first week, I knew that I would just lean on him. But yeah, there was so many. I had so many questions. But at this point in my life, I've learned to get out of my own way. Um, mm-hmm. But um, it wasn't. I actually didn't read Bob's book until after the movie. But uh, I was, gonna, but the script, you know, has all the contextual clues to that time period that you would need. And once you're there and you're shooting in the places where the bus riot actually happened, for instance, and other places like that, it, you, I mean, you can't do a better job of understanding the circumstances. I actually was going to say the exact same thing. I think putting us in the on the grounds of where things happen made, and plus you add the costumes and the wardrobe and everything like that. Yeah. That helps make it real for you. It, it helps pull it off the page and put it on its feet. And so at that point, it was easy to um, to really immerse ourselves in the reality of what happened. 